nice fat female, maybe eight kilos, eight and a half. And we have to hold this a bit before we release it. Here we go. Perfect. Leaving the bubbles. And there she's fishing at Chista Baggett. I just caught one eight kilo here and uh, he's gonna fish down this stream here and then we come down to Halderkull and uh, below this smooth water and I'm gonna fish that from the bank that's the plan then we'll see Alta is the big adventure every salmon fisherman's wet dream Covid made it possible to do two weeks on rotation. We are in the beginning of July and it's our second week. This is the traditional way on the Alta. Two boatsmen and you casting from the long Alta boat. Me, myself, I prefer to fish even the Alta from the bank waiting. Normally the casts are short, they drift fast, and the boatsmen are in full control. This week we're with Kenneth and Vega Romstad, seventh generation boatsmen on the river. And suddenly it happens, the big adventure begins. Heavy big fish that takes a lot of line and don't do what we want it to do. Extremely hard press and the fish just don't move. The boys call dad Svere, one of the best and most experienced on the river. The message was clear, big fish be patient. This fish took 100 and 150 meters of line and it went all the way down and now we can't move it. We're trying to get a little closer. An extremely big fish. And I myself started to think about my dream 60 pounds, about Hawkins fish from Stainfossen the other year and yes, my legs were a bit soft. That's not a good one. Yeah. I know in the We see again over. This is store of lips upon and come, they come be and come so sacrifice to your alata. Shoot it. I can't fit. I can have most of all and a 40 meter snow left near. Yeah. I'm going to eat the cross for heart. Another call to Father Svere, who asks about the leader. How thick is it? I'm getting some line back on the reel just to lose it again. The fish is taking and we are taking in and we take and give and back and forth and the time is just running. I'm sick but I'm in the past. 
Is it stuck in something? I was doubtful for a very long time, but everyone said, no, no, big fish, be patient. <laughs> we thought that was really big, it got stuck right down there and had 100 meters of line pointing straight down. And uh, it's now in the net. So we hooked this fish right where the water comes into Nesharra and uh, it took 100 meters of line and went down in the deep and got stuck around something and we've been pulling and pushing. How long can it? Half an hour? Yeah, 30, maybe 40 minutes. 40 minutes with the line straight down and, and uh, normally there's nothing there for them to, to, to get stuck around. So we thought this is 25 kilos. And then suddenly the line came off and, uh, and we could play it. And, it's a normal three winter, 20 panda. And uh, I think we did it good to get it, but uh, we thought it was twice, three times the size. <laughs> well, but it's good to get them. And it was on the new reel, on the new uh, sailor reel. And uh, it performed perfect. So, uh, and on a lion fly, I have it right here. Fly and fly on a TTT. And you can see the hooks are a bit straight. Been pulling long time, hard, hard. 40 pound leader. Now we're gonna get going. We practice now. Now we know how to get the big one. Easier fight than last time. I see a male. Are we gonna just check the link?
100 or 101 you could say nice fat I would say 11, 11 kilos not 12 or what do you say 11 yeah. nice big fish and we need them to spawn wild Alta salmon wants to go and keep it a little longer. Took the fly really hard too. Also on the lion fly. You go, you can go. Yes, very good. Second good fish today. Get in the nut. Very good. Good fish. How big do you think? 13. 13. Okay. It's a male, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. That was a good run. My yeah. fingers are bleeding. It took it off and I had my hand there. Fantastic male. Look at this. Wow. Wild silver. From the tail of Neshara. Beautiful fish. 13, 14 kilos. And just magnificent. Look at it. It's just fantastic fish. And now we're gonna release it. And this guy really wants to go already. Uh, I normally try to hold them a bit. Uh, and the best is if they if they stay in a place like this, you can just have them rest. You see how the bubble goes. And um, here the fish can rest a few minutes and we touch it and it's gonna swim off or oh, it swims off already now here we go my baby thank you so much Let's see we hooked another one at Mokaland there. Big fish, yes, took us all the way down here now. We haven't seen it. Yeah, we're at Soros Neva and I went one pass down and lost three fish. And they took and pulled and we had two of them on maybe 20 seconds. Two big fish. Maybe 12, 12, 14 kilo, the biggest, and maybe 10, 10, 12, one of them. And then I had one that barely pulled. And uh, different today. Yesterday, four good takes, and they just smacked the fly. Uh, and yesterday was, of course, fantastic in Nesh era with, with uh, 110, 111, 112, and 114 kilo male to my rod two times we had to leave the 
pool and um, they were just crazy. The fish were just mad. Uh, three out of four had more than 150 meters of line out and the show was a good test to the to the new reel and it performed, performed beautiful so I'm happy about that, happy about yesterday's fish and I'm gonna try that again from the bank up here uh, and what's producing takes is the lionfly lion butterfly with a widespread hackle uh, really moves really nice and I like it and the fish likes it too so we'll see what's gonna happen now the boys uh, I'll put a fire on and the boys is preparing lunch for us up here and uh, we'll see what's gonna happen later tonight we're at midnight now and as you can see it's, it's still midnight sun even if the sun isn't out today but it's, it's very good light a bit crazy with sunglasses at midnight but here you need it to see what you do On a lionfly, and then here we go. And then I changed to a van if I took it. Oh, and two fish. Ah, two fish. Gloria. Oh, hammer. Ikke gå ut. Nei, på business start den her. Det är en Be gone with it. This fish been in a net. The boys decided to take him off. He's got big wounds all over his head and uh, decided to take him out of the river. And this is fishing at the uh, river at Ulrikola. Right below Detsika. And uh, they had one that pulled him here last time we were here.
on the shook one here. It's a smaller fish, but in the fast water, I don't. It's not possible to get it in up here. Boys are maneuvering the boat just perfectly on every fish. You can see the experience. Big fish been taking a lot of line from the reel. Here we go. Oh, that's it. Six. Six, seven kilos. It's so good with these boatsmen. Uh, you feel totally safe when they maneuver the fish and the boat and everything. Like we've been running these rapids for big fish now. A few days and they are just doing it perfectly. Shallow and hard current makes it oh, difficult. Oh, mm -hmm. Difficult. But... Hooked one in Stengelsen. Going down now into the backing. You really just working nicely. And the fish is taking off. And I will leave the camera to the other boys. I need both hands now. Here you go. Det är helt över. Det är helt över. Vad tar det roligt visst den går upp på? Ja, den går upp. Han är ju snor. Jag ser. Men locken går upp på. Nej, han går nära. Det kommer kallhet där. Det måste gå efter. Det måste gå efter. Det är 150. Nu går det som fan. Nu är det så fan. Nu stoppar vi. Have you seen it? Oh, very good. Have you seen the fish? No, I haven't seen it. It didn't feel that big with the shaking its head, but you never know. You never know. They're on also, this took 200 meters. It's just crazy. I mean, come on. Oh. 
Nej, den är inte så. Nej. Så får jag ner mig. Nu kommer jag. Får jag ta dem med ro? Inte för hårt, ja. Nej, nej. Kommer han igen? Han står upp här. Så min strömmar, han går bara ut med huvudet, vet du. Ja. Låt att göra något. Very good, that's staying in sun. Are you two fluids? No, it's just a crop. On a TTT, on a Lionfly TTT, and first we had one that pulled. Nice. 10, 11 kilo fish. I really enjoyed fishing with the Romstahl brothers. Young, but with good feel for the river, and backed by generations of experience. This week I fished some old hardest and of course the Sailor S2 samples that I think served me really, really good. The sailor reels worked perfect and I used mainly my next cast intermediate sink 3 but also some faster sinkers. 40 pounds leader of course and best flies with the lion butterfly, Veheniva and also of course Patagorba. Flies on TTT was I think a big part of the success. Ja, 
So this is our last day now and we have the best water on the last day. Uh, Anders here started at Langstilla and then we're gonna fish Shorts Plus and then go down to Oki Earth. And I think I will try to get a uh, big fish today so I really want to try Langstilla later on. Uh, Oki Earth has been the most productive but not giving those really really big fish. And I don't know, uh, but for me, Langstilla is a big fish place, so we'll see. But we've been doing good so far, I think uh, for this we have 18, 18 good fish to the boat. Lost a few, but still we haven't hooked that really big fish. Um, maybe it'll happen today, we'll see. We are at the Oka Yarrett last night. And uh, for some reason the fish been taking very careful and uh, I've been losing four fish or just having four options but nothing nothing uh, to play and we're gonna make one last try before this adventure is over. So after a month traveling, a month good fishing, it's time to end and it's time to end this year's first Alta adventure and uh, it's crazy but I've been here two weeks now and I'm home a couple of weeks and then I'll be back here for two weeks in August. Fantastic year. So uh, hope you enjoyed this, sharing this uh, trip with you or these two weeks and that uh, uh, you've uh, seen some of what I think is the most fantastic summer river in the world. Alta is a great river, the best big fish river on the whole planet. It has a good run of grills but here fish come back normally after three years in sea, weighing up from 10 to 12 kilos normally. Alta got also more 40, 50 and 60 and even 70 pounders than any other salmon river in the world. But the river is under hard pressure. First they dammed it. The fish farming industry changed the DNA of the fish and threatens the whole Alta Fjord ecosystem. Hard commercial fishing with traps takes most of the fish entering the fjord. Ali, Alta Laxe Fiskeri Interessantskap, who runs the river, is trying their best to minimize the effects by river fishing. Catch and release is important, and those big Alta females is now more important than ever. I like to see catch and release on all fish over 90 centimeters, but even more I like to see some political awareness and responsibility around the river. We need to fight for the Alta. Its unique stock of wild fish will otherwise soon be gone.